Dr. Fred Templeman joins us today. We're excited to talk about the Zengo Reserva juice, a special product available uh, for our European markets. And Fred, we're excited to have you with us. We're, we're eager to talk about this. Tell us about some of your experience. You're a board certified physician. You've had a private practice for many years, and now you're, you're traveling the globe talking about and researching and investigating and reporting on the great news about these incredible products and this incredible compound called xanthones. Tell us about some of your experience with that. Well, uh, the xanthones are the class of phytochemicals, and there are many, there are actually five major families of phytochemicals in the mangosteen, but many of them also are overlaps with green tea, for example, the polyphenols, etc. that uh, the catechins that are in green tea are also in the juice, almost in the same quantitative amount. But the xanthones are unique to the plant, and that is what has caught the attention of scientists. They continue to research it, and when I saw that the company was going to put a preparation out that had 20% more xanthones in it than the original juice, uh, I have never tasted the original juice since. <laughs> so you've I, made that your preferred, your preferred juice is the Reserva. Absolutely, because uh, once again, I'm influenced by the science, and almost all of the science is about the xanthones. And so that's where I'm going to use the juice in the form that has the strongest concentration of xanthones. Let's go right to that science. Let's go right to that research. Okay. Tell us about your experience, what you've seen as the scientific community. And again, this is a global community. What have you found in research looking at mangosteen and xanthones as compared with other supplements that are available on the market? Well, let, let's take a look at the, uh, the research in the mangosteen existed fire before we actually had a product and before Zango existed, no question. But as soon as you look at the graphing of the number of papers that can be accessed in the scientific uh, research, you see that when Zango appeared, there was a multiple of approximately four times the papers every couple of years, there would be four more times more papers. Now that's not the case with any other supplements. No exceptions. It just doesn't happen. And the scientists are so interested, they're running after making drugs out of this. The Japanese have already got a crude drug. The Chinese have announced that they're going to have one. The Americans have synthesized uh, the xanthones for no other purpose, in my mind, except to have drugs. So when you see a supplement that the scientists run after in order to make a drug out of it, you know you've got your hands on something great. Now you, you are, in addition to having been a practicing physician and consulting with patients and people for literally dozens of years. Tell us about your experience recommending these supplements to people, but also your personal experience as a user of them. Well, uh, the two of them run together because I, early on in the process, was able to use the juice personally. And it wasn't immediate that I had an effect, but I had chronic pain. I have a degenerative uh, disc disease in my neck to the point where because of the limitations it was pra placing on the kinds of uh, procedures I could do in my practice I was contemplating surgery 12 years ago. No surgery uh, I can manage the discomfort that I have from certain uh, activities but for 10 years I had absolutely no pain whatsoever so I'm a, a living example of this. I, for me I talk about it as a gift of God because for me personally, it saved me from very serious surgery. And with my patients, I have always been looking for something that didn't have the downside of drugs. Every drug has side effects. Potentially, most drugs are lethal in overdose or with side effects. In America, thousands and thousands of people every year die from drug uh, interactions and from problems with drugs. So if you can help your body uh, Hippocrates said, trust your body's ability to heal itself. And if you give your body what it requires, then it usually does the job. And doctors take too much credit for some of the cures that come about as a result of drugs. It's really the body working behind the scenes, fixing things up, and supplements are the way to go because they just dangerous. Now you actually performed, uh, I'm going to call it an informal study, we're not trying to document anything right. here, but you have an experience with a number of patients that had some of these issues. Tell us about that informal study. Well, you have certain chronic patients, every primary care physician does, 
who don't respond to the drugs. Either they get a bad effect from it or the drugs just don't work. And they have serious concerns. Almost all of them are depressed because they've had years of trying to get relief from their symptoms unsuccessfully. So they come back to see you about every second month just hoping that there's something on the horizon. And these I used to consider to be problem patients because I had nothing to offer them. So I took 27 of these, product, uh, these problem patients and I decided to expose them to the mangosteen in extremely small doses. And uh, over a period of a month, I was able to give all of them this. Three of them did not give me the reports and I excluded them from the group. But of the 24 remaining, 20 of them had positive measurable improvements. And uh, all 20, for example, indicated that they had greater energy, that they just felt better. And I remembered looking at my results with drugs and realizing that I probably, if I'd given 24 people a drug, I would have made four of them sicker than they were. I would have had a number of them who didn't respond adequately. And you just don't see that kind of improvement with drugs. So I knew that we were onto something good. Plus, I've already told you my own story. And what, uh, what kind of uh, quantities were they taking at the time? They were taking extremely small quantities. Now, uh, in, the, in the intervening years, I have recommended higher quantities because some of the research indicates that it is advantageous. For example, we didn't know at the beginning that it had to be ingested with food, but it is absorbed much more effectively when it comes into the body with meals or with a little bit of fat. And so there are a lot of things that we've learned over time, and I recommend higher doses than I did in the beginning, but the effects have also improved. Now, when we talk about treatment of people for uh, circumstances or illnesses or conditions, certainly people there would want to look for a benefit. But talk about some of the usage for people who might not be experiencing a chronic or a, a debilitating disease, like you've said. Well, most chronic illness develops over years. It is not something that is going to happen overnight. Uh, the consequences of it can be that you go golfing and then fall dead on the golf course from cardiac events. But they've been coming on for 10, 20, perhaps 30 years. And it makes sense to prevent. And diet, or dietary supplementation in this particular case, is an excellent way of giving your body what it needs to make sure that these terrible problems and eventual events don't happen. What is, when we, we talk about the, the wellness of the human body, uh, inflammation is a standard marker that can indicate many problems going on. Tell us about the effects that Zango Reserva juice can have on inflammation in the body. Well, let me, let me make a disclaimer here that's very important. The kind of research that would be required by the governing bodies of medicine throughout the countries where Zango is distributed is not strong enough to be able to talk about it making absolutely a difference. But the stories of people who have used it indicate that as a dietary supplement it has numerous advantages. Uh, reduction in, in drug dosage, for example. Uh, elimination of certain symptoms associated with uh, the individual diseases that people may suffer from. So there are great advantages. They aren't the kind that we can talk about as being cures or even treatments, but it's a dietary supplement. And it's something that fills in the holes in most of the diets where people are getting insufficient nutrients. And that's how I recommend it. Try this, see what happens when your body gets some things that it probably has been waiting and looking for, but hasn't been getting in your regular diet. So it really is a try and see what happens. Dr. Fred Templeman, thank you so much for your time and your expertise on this matter. We really appreciate your contributions here. Hey, I believe in this.